Hi everybody, my name is Brian Anderson and I'm going to talk to you today about John Watson uh, because that's the assignment and I want to get good grades or at least pass this class, so here we go. Um, he was born into a religious home in 1878. His mother was extremely religious, but his father was not. And due to the schism and his father's infidelity, um, the father ended up leaving, which affected Watson greatly since he was close to his father. Uh, in his youth, he was not a good student, but he was quite persuasive, and due to this, he was accepted to Furman University at the age of 15. While there, he learned the psychology of Wundt and James, and, but due to a clerical error, uh, he ended up having to take an additional year of schooling, which actually ended up benefiting him since he got his master's degree at age 21. He then looked into other schools and attended Chicago, taking on a number of jobs to financially support himself. Um, one of these jobs was working taking care of the rats in one of the research labs, and because of this he became an expert on rats due to that. Um, he ended up obtaining his doctor with his thesis, Animal Education, the Psychical Development of the White Rat, um, and after he received this he took a job as an assistant professor at the University of Chicago. Uh, he ended up marrying one of his students um, and sired two children from her. Uh, his beginning research was with rats and kinesthetic sensations. Later, he would turn to examine how terns were able to find their way home, um, even after being placed a long way away from it, like in the hooded cages and stuff, um, and ended up making no progress, so he switched uh, research. I don't know. Uh, he took a job at John Hopkins and became the editor of the journal of the university, or the psychological journal, I should say. Um, he ended up becoming the journal because the chairman, uh, who was the previous editor, uh, was caught in a brothel, and apparently you're not allowed to do that in uh, upper education, so take note. Mm -hmm. um, he, had, he was in the armed forces um, and was honorably discharged after two years, but he didn't like it and said buffoonish and very inefficient and they were very bad at his, their jobs. Uh, he was also in a sex scandal which caused him to uh, end up divorcing his uh, wife and marrying the woman that he was in the scandal with. Um, he is called the father of behaviorism and uh, from his work in advertising, which he did later in his life, uh, he believed that consumer behavior could be controlled and predicted. He related a lot of Pavlovian psychology to marketing and advertising and became hugely successful, getting a uh, now current, to use the modern way of doing it, uh, after inflation he earned about a million dollars a year. Um, his work in behaviorism led him to believe that there were four kinds of behavior, explicit learned, explicit unlearned, implicit learned, and implicit unlearned. Explicit learned is like uh, speech, so you don't actually know that as a child and you have to be taught it, and it's explicit and overt. Uh, explicit unlearned, which is something like sneezing or coughing, which you do as a reflex. reflex. Uh, implicit learned, which is um, you just, you your in, inner bodily functions react to the world around you. So, to use the example from the lecture, um, when you go to the dentist, your heart rate increases because dentists are terrible people and the dentist is a terrible place. And implicit unlearned, um, which is like if you get sick, your body is going to naturally start producing more uh, snot and mucus. Um, he believed behavior should be studied through observation and wanted to examine the roles of instincts versus experience. One of his most well-known experiments examines this issue, which is the Little Albert study. Um, in this study, basically there was a child who was unafraid of white rats, and then by combining the sound of a steel bar striking behind the child, every time the child would examine the rat, uh, he could create fear in the child, um, which actually ended up having lasting psychological problems, but that's for another time. Um, another of his studies, Peter and the White Rabbit, examined extinction of fear, so the opposite effect. Um, and basically, Peter was a child who was afraid of rabbits and a bunch of other animals, and by pairing a pleasant stimulus with the rabbit, he was able to get rid of it. Um, Watson was afraid of the dark but, and tried to use this on himself, but it didn't really work. Um, he also had feelings about how sex education should be done with children, believing that objectivity was very important and how children should be reared, though a lot of parents today would likely call him emotionally unavailable or neglectful. Uh, he aimed the future of psychology towards how behavior could be predicted and controlled in the future. The study of overt behavior became a major subject matter, 
um, but he still believed there was merit and value in studying covert behavior.